I understand this is a split call. Greg O'Connor, you have five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, serendipitous that uh, that last speaker had the call before me, um, Maureen Pugh, sitting next to Dan Bidwar, because so often when we discuss legislation in this House, um, it can be a little bit focused. We're talking about legislation, we're talking about words on a bit of paper. Um, but our select committee was lucky enough last week to go to a work and, come, work and income office in Willis Street um, with those two members opposite um, and several others. And what we saw was a personification of the change that has taken place with this rewrite. Um, the change has taken place because as every member here who does electorate work, um, who does uh, casework will know, many of the issues we have are people, desperate people, coming to our offices who simply cannot navigate the system, who go to offices and see a fortress-like mentality, um, who go to an office and see, in the past, dispirited staff who, as a result of um, directions from above, were really there to bat away. Well, what we saw last week, and I invite those two members to reflect on that, um, what we saw last week was a change. What we saw was an office that had actually the whole rationale, the whole um, ethos has changed, where if we treat these people properly, they will get jobs. They'll feel like they're part of a system. And this is what, when I look at this bill, the Social Security, Security Rewrite Bill, that's actually the reality of where we come to. So um, this is a very short call, Madam Speaker, um, and I don't think it needs much. All I would ask is anyone here who has any doubts about the change, um, speak to people who have come out of those offices and see how positive they will be, because what we want them to do, and I agree with Alfred Naro, it will be nice to have everyone working um, to their capability and earning to what they need. Um, but there are those that who will not be able to do that. And so it's treating those people and understanding it. This is incredibly important. And this legislation is the start of that. So to those members and those others, I invite you to go and have a look at your local work and income office and just see the change, because that is where the words on this bill come to manifestation of what we need to be as a country. Thank you, yeah, Madam yeah. Speaker. Oh, great speech. I call Joanne Hayes. Madam Speaker, and I stand to take a call on this um, 